We started our trip to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam a week and a half ago in the hopes of expanding our horizons through studying abroad. We quickly learned upon arriving that Ho Chi Minh City is nothing like the city we have come to know. We traveled to many different places such as Ho Chi Minh City University of Natural Resources and Environment, Reunification Palace, the American Consulate, an industrial parks wastewater treatment plant, Samyo Regional Training Center, Ho Chi Minh City University of Architecture, Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology, a solar panel manufacturer, Mekong Delta, Geo. This is a war was for making me that and Monkey Island. You can in your mind. The places we have visited and the people we have talked to opened our eyes to the many environmental issues that plague this region. Problems such as poor water quality, unreliable energy, and severe flooding are what is preventing this enterprising city from reaching its full potential. The water quality within this country is lacking, which promotes the excessive consumption of bottled water. Similar water treatment processes are practiced in the United States as well, however the efficiency in Vietnam is not as high. The water treatment plant only operates for 8 hours a day, causing a large amount of water to go untreated. Initially, only 10% of the water was properly treated. The number has now increased to about 20%, yet that is still disturbingly minimal. With the poor water treatment processes, food and waterborne illnesses can occur if water is consumed. Because of this, only bottled water is considered safe for human consumption. Due to this large amount of waste generation, unfortunately, a portion of this plastic bottled water waste ends up in the waterways, in turn only furthering the water quality issues. In addition, there is dioxin legacy contamination from over 40 years ago from the Vietnam War that is still causing issues now. Saltwater intrusion is also a concern for the water quality in Vietnam. This influx of saltwater into the groundwater is defiling the already poor water quality. With the increasing salinity, agricultural and fish populations are suffering because they cannot withstand the rising salt concentrations. The lower the groundwater levels get, the higher the increase of the saltwater intrusion. Because of this saltwater intrusion, fresh water is becoming scarce further and further inland. To combat this issue, dams are being constructed to store water from the rivers. The damming process deprives the delta of the much needed sediment to replenish after the erosion from the sea. This causes the Mekong Delta to degrade at a much faster rate, becoming a compound problem. Another issue with the water quality in Vietnam is that the rainwater is acidic, causing the increased release of metals such as iron and manganese from the sediment. The current water treatment systems cannot treat for these metals. During the rainy season from June to October, this becomes a major problem. The poor water quality in this region are common issues that many other countries face as well. There are options to remediate these problems, however they are not affordable. 
Hopefully, with the advances in technology, these options will become more practical. Flooding in Vietnam is a devastating issue. It has caused immeasurable damages to homes and businesses, and in some cases, even death. These problems will only intensify with the looming climate change situation. Excessive flooding in the area has prevented students and adults from attending school and work. Flooding can ruin the rice production, so dike systems are installed in order to block the water from entering the rice paddies. This protects the area from the flood waters. However, once pesticides and fertilizers are used in the area, there is nothing to flush out the agricultural waste. This creates highly contaminated water, which is unable to leave the area. The implementation of green infrastructure could alleviate some of the flooding issues. Decreasing the amount of urban storm water runoff would help some of the water quality issues as well. When the storm water runs off the street, it picks up trash, bacteria, and other pollutants before entering into the water systems. Methods such as storm water harvesting on the roofs of buildings and installation of permeable pavements could assist with the excessive flood. Due to the warm climate of Vietnam, the installation of green roofs would be a large benefit to the urban areas. The installation of many plants on the roofs of buildings can mitigate the stormwater issues as well as reduce cooling costs for the building. All coastal regions face these issues and will only escalate with the inevitable climate change direction. Vietnam suffers from environmental issues that many other countries also face. Efforts to combat climate change need to be developed further to try and prevent these problems from becoming even bigger issues. We hope that we have provided insight for the remediation of these problems in Vietnam.